to a video about a Roman villa. So, first I am going to show you the furnace which heats the entire villa. So, this is the furnace and all of the stuff uh, that you can use to light, light it. And this, and the villa is made from stone. As you can see, this is made from stone. And um, columns hold up the roof to make it all stable. And this is stable, as you can see. And the roof is sloped so it runs down. So the tiles, they're made by this to slope down. The, the, when it rains, to slope down. Um, and I am walking inside now. And, and this is what I'll show you. The... Um, Inside the villa is a table and chairs which can also go on so, so there are table and chairs um, as you can see I can sit down here now and after the chairs inside the villa is a table and chairs as I've shown you, these are mosaics on the walls, walls, which can also go on the floor, but you can't put them on the floor. Yeah, so there is underfloor heating lit by the furnace we saw earlier. So this is the furnace. This is, this is not the furnace. This is all of the. This is the poles that's holding up it, and all of the heat floats under there called underfloor heating. After that, um, through the door is the kitchen, which is in here. The furnace already lit. Um. So they they use they furnish to cook, as you can see, because they did cook in those days. And through the through the other door is the bedroom they used used fire on a stick for lights as i'm holding one now you can possibly see that i'm holding a torch so um um there is a hot drum called a caladarium this is a caladarium, caladarium, and it's called hot room. There is also a tepid room called a tepidarium, and it and it means mead. It means tepid room, and this one cold room called a frigarium. And this is what it is, a frigarium. Uh, we will now look again at the villa. In silence as well.
Thank you for watching this video. Bye.